sorry for not being as presentable. I was uh, limited to what I was able to do today. Um, but I'm, my topic is atrial fibrillation. And it's not as dangerous alone, but as to what it can lead to, because it is one of the main leading factors that causes stroke and heart failure. And something that you really have to know is that it can happen from when you're a teen and up. It doesn't really matter how old you are, because although it mostly affects 60 year olds and up, it can happen at any age. So it's something to pay attention to. And if you like a bit of an example is the heart rate. Let's say the a normal person's heartbeat is 60 to 100 beats per minute. And a person's heart rate in atrial fibrillation is 100 heartbeats to 175 heartbeats per minute. And well, here's, I'll give you an example. So say a normal person's heart rate, it will be at about this pace. As to somebody's heart rate and atrial fibrillation, the pace goes quicker and less controlled. And, well, that's pretty much about, it sums it up, so that's all.